Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jasmine Destine. If you are new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up, what's good, what's goody? We are back with a new video. I've never done this kind of video on my channel before, but I'm actually going to be going on vacation in about 36 hours. But I wanted to do a 24 hour glow up with me for vacay. So we're doing the full prep. I gotta do my hair, I gotta get a lash fill, I gotta wax. Gotta laminate the brows, Manny, Petty. Like we got the whole nine that's about to go down. And I wanted to do like a vlog style of just my glow up in the next 24 hours because it's gonna happen between today and tomorrow, honey, okay? So if you guys are excited for this video, then make sure you keep watching, of course. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the tribe. We so close to 100K, we hit around 100K. We so close, you guys, we're real close. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. There's gonna be so many consistent uploads for the next couple of weeks because all of it is planned out. I love you guys and let's just get right into this video. So the first thing on the glow up agenda, that's what I'm gonna call it. The glow up agenda is to actually go and get a lash fill. I've had these lashes on for, it's probably like three weeks now. I think it'll be three weeks like in two days. But they're, they're still doing very good. Like look at how full. That's cause my lash tech is bomb. She's the bomb.com. If you are in, I'll have all of her info in the description box down below but if you're located in LA you don't mind traveling to downtown LA for a lash tech she the bomb girl the retention on my lashes is just always a one like the fact that I've had these on for three weeks and they're still there yeah go book with her so I have a lash fill in an hour so I'm about to get ready you know so I can run and get my lashes done so we could get those filled and out of the way I'm also going to be um waxing today I have to wax my armpits they look horrendous like they look crazy and i need to wax my upper lip because you know the marks are coming in i need to wax my eyebrows because they're very like unruly right now and just bushy and i want to laminate them so all of that is going to happen later too after the lashes is set okay so let's go to our lash appointments you guys i just got to my lash appointment i'm about to get these babies filled i'll see you when i'm done you guys i just got back home from my lash appointment let's get into these lashes though oh <laughs> my lash tech mom she does it every time for me like we've figured out the perfect recipe for my lash extension so I get um, lengths 15 through 18, I think, and I do a mixture of C and D curl, which is why they're so like wispy and layered and spiky. I literally tell her like I want them spiky. So she does like she mix all of the lengths and they always just come out so good. Like literally, uh, can't not get my lashes done. Literally obsessed. She was, <laughs> and when she finished, she was like, you're back. And I was like, I am. So, uh, we can check getting our lash fill off the list. Next is to wax. Girl, I don't even want to show you my armpits. My armpits look so crazy. Like, literally, I think it's been like three, maybe four weeks. And that's only because I was in the process of moving and the, the like two weeks the two weeks before moving were so hectic like literally there was just so much going on and i also ran out of wax beads so i didn't have them i was procrastinating ordering them off of amazon i don't know why i ordered them i ordered more wax beads yeah so my mom waxes herself she's been doing it for years and this is actually the brand that she like swears by they have a bunch of different colors the different color wax beads are for different areas of the body. So I know the yellow one is for your face, but I use it on my body one time, but it's for your face. Cause some of the wax, like depending on the color, obviously, some of them are gonna be a harder wax or they're gonna be a softer wax. I got the blue ones. This one is actually, I believe it's for sensitive. I wish I would say it in English. Everything is in another language. It's literally in another language. 
But I, I, I believe the blue one, this blue one, the brand is Sarah Pill, but there's an accent on the E and I know I'm not saying it right. I believe the blue ones are for sensitive skin and this one is you can use all over the body. Okay, so we're about, <laughs> my hair. I'm about to wax these armpits. Look at my armpits are really hurting. Woo, girl. Damn, it's time to it's time to wax the pit. So I have my wax already um, melting. I added these beads to my wax warmer that I got off of Amazon for twenty bucks. I will have it linked down below in the description box for you guys. But see the wax is in there. I'm about to wax my armpits and my face. Yeah, yesterday I was working all day. Like I edited two videos. They were two very long videos. So I'm proud of myself, so that's why I didn't end up waxing yesterday like I said I was. But it's okay because we have the whole day today. I'm just gonna brush my brow hairs up just so I can see. My brows, I've definitely started, well not started, but I wear them pretty natural now, to be honest. Like, I don't really clean them up too much, and even when I fill them in, I give them more of like a bushier, like barely filled in look because if you guys have been following me for a while then you know i had years ago years ago on my channel though i just had the worst eyebrows ever and i think i don't really need to fill them in that much i was filling them in like super you know everybody had that anastasia beverly hills dip brow and we all had a phase where our eyebrows were just like you know they was just blocks on our face and they were just like there yeah glad that i grew out of that <laughs> but um now i barely fill in my brows these are how my brows look normally and naturally with absolutely nothing they're not laminated they're not tweeds this is just them looking like really bushy like they're you know but that's my brow. We're gonna start with the armpits just to get those out of the way i'm gonna take some cornstarch can we talk about how my very first one that I did of me waxing my kidney cut and my armpits is about to hit a million views? It's like it's like 600 views away from a million, which is so crazy to me. Like literally, what? I never thought in a million years with posting that video that it would hit a million views. Like, and I feel like that's really how it happens on YouTube. Like, it's always the videos you don't expect to like necessarily do well that do the best. Like, it's oh that I mean that's at least what it always is for me. I feel like the videos where I'm like, okay, like this is a good ass video. Like, I spent so much time on it. Like coming up with the idea, shooting the content, editing it. Like I really put my back like into this. You know, I just did everything I need to do. Like it's gonna do well. And those are the videos that flop. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> YouTube, you can't really predict when something's gonna do good. It's the algorithm, you know. You, you, you can have an understanding of what people wanna see, but kind of hard she's very hot so i have to wait for her to cool down just a little like that's too liquidy way too liquidy so my wax is ready yeah this is way better see how it's falling slower it's not even that hot i love that for me if i could do this all in one I would be so happy. We just might be able to. I should have put the other one on. It's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take from the bottom. One, two. Ooh! Woo! Ah! Okay. Ah! But I did it. Look, I got all of the hair. I got most of it. Like it's all gone. And one spike, baby. Okay, period. I could just do that with the tweezer. That's like four strands. I'm really in my own DIY salon in my place. <laughs>
Alrighty, so the pits is done. The pits are clean. Very smooth, very smooth indeed. Substitute, but it just dries up the area from any like oils or moisture that may be there that won't allow the wax to actually grip around the hair strands. This always goes very quickly because I don't feel like there's a ton of hair on my face, but. so I don't actually have to go in with the tweezer all of the hair is gone you can tell when you're freshly waxed because there's literally like no shadow there I don't know if you guys noticed earlier when I was like I gotta wax my wax there was a shadow <laughs> Next, I'm going to laminate these babies so they could just be, you know, perfect. Cause literally once I laminate, like my freaking face just comes alive, you know, like. The kit that I use is actually an eyelash perming kit. I've seen that there are brands now that sell a brow lamination kit on Amazon. I got this off of Amazon. It's literally the same thing. I just use this because I've used it already so many times and I know that it works. This is just a perm, a very gentle perm, but you are perming your eyelashes if you're using it on your eyelashes or you're perming your eyebrows if you're using it on your eyebrows. Like they look good, but they just don't look the way that I picture them to look. They're supposed to look better than this. This is not, this is not okay. Like they don't look bad, but they don't look amazing. You know, they're just kind of there. And next I'm gonna do my hair. I decided that I wanna do a ponytail, like, but a braided ponytail. So like a snatch bag pony. And then I want the ponytail to be braided and long. Um, I have two bundles of like some body wave hair that I've had for years that I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna blow my hair out to my edges and then wrap the bundles around my pony. So I'm actually about to get in the shower and wash my hair. I'm gonna get out the shower, do a little skincare, and then do my hair. I will see you when I get out of the shower.
my camera died while I was doing the fishtail braid, but I ended up doing a fishtail braid. If you guys couldn't tell, this is what it looks like. It looks really cute. You guys, um, I haven't done a fishtail braid since like middle school when my hair was permed and I used to straighten it all the time. And then on days where I wanted a ponytail with a braid, I would do a fishtail braid. <laughs> like, it's been, I'm sorry, I was just drinking sparkling water. Yeah, I have not done a fishtail braid in a very, very long time, but I forgot how cute they are. We might need to bring the fishtail back. You guys know I had that, um, I had like my natural hair like in a really tight pony. I couldn't do a regular braid because I wouldn't have been able to braid my hair into like any braiding hair or anything. And I did the bundles, which I wrapped around. You guys saw, you gotta just like fluff out the fishtail. I honestly prefer the messy look, which is why like the hair is really messy and the braid is kind of messy too. I just feel like it looks better and you want to just pull on the braid to like fluff it out make it all messy it gives it like that boho vibe the last thing i need to do is to lay my edges so i'm gonna take this kiss edge fix this is the saweetie collab in the grape scent it smells really good it smells so good it smells just like grape i've been using this as of recently to lay my edges like even with my curly hair and stuff and i really like it it's long wearing um i feel like it gives me the sweetie baby hair look <laughs> to do my toes i had gotten a pedicure like this set was a pedicure that i have on now at the nail salon but to be honest i really did not like the way that they shaped my toes this last time and i came home and i ended up shaping them myself my toes are crazy look at my toes <laughs> look at my toes so yeah you see they grown out we gotta take this off and i gotta cut them down because they're too long it's time to do these bad boys so this is the before my feet look crazy to this wow look at my toes all oh, butted up yeah i did that on oh, current program is giving perfect petty no i had to do the white toe Alrighty, you guys that is the completed glow up for a vacay video let me know if you guys enjoyed this video down below in the comment section if you want to see me do more of these like 24 hour glow ups because the way i started the video compared to the way i'm finishing it girl it's a cute ass glow up okay um i actually am packing right now so that's just really all that i have to do i really just have to throw them in my suitcase and then just you know pack my toiletries and things like that but if you guys enjoyed this video then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications okay we on a road to 100k i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video last but certainly not least don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you on my next upload bye